Welcome back, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to change the keyboard theme on your iPad. So sadly, the default keyboard on your iPad does not come with an option on customizing its theme. So if you want to change the theme, then you'll have to install a third party keyboard. So for this video, I'll be using the Google keyboard, also known as the Gboard. So open the App Store, use the search bar, and type in your keyboard that you want to use and then install the app so once the app has been installed and it's been set up now you can customize its theme so because i'm using the gboard this is how the interface looks like and i'll have to customize in portrait mode so from here select themes and under themes you have so many options to choose from you can choose the default black and white themes. You can choose to use landscapes and you have loads of landscape options to choose from. You can also choose to use a gradient. So you have light and you have dark. So with any of these three options, if you want to set a theme for any of these selections, so you want to use this light gradient, tap on the download button. And then once the check mark appears, it's been downloaded. So if you find you like the theme the way it is, you can continue using your keyboard. But if you want to customize it, tap on this pencil icon and then customize it. So you'll have to switch the Gboard for you to customize. So long press on the globe icon, select and select Gboard. Now you can continue customizing. So you can change the background. You can lighten or darken it with a slider. You can enable background on keys, text color, background color, and sorts, all sorts of options. So have fun uh, customizing your keyboard. And when you finish the customizations, tap on done. So you can do this for all of these other options that you have available. If you find you don't like any of the provided selections, tap on the option custom, and then choose an image from your photo library. So let's say I choose this one. So you want to fit this image or to adjust this image so that it can fit perfectly in this keyboard cutout of yours. Then when you're happy, tap on choose. So from here, you can now start customizing your keyboard. So you've chosen the image, now it's time to customize the rest, such as the keys. So you can choose to enable the background on the keys or not. And then you'll see in your preview exactly how it looks like. Then you can also choose to change the background color, the key colors. You can enable borders around the keys. So just have fun with your customizations. And then when you're finished and you're happy with what you've chosen, tap on done to save and apply the changes. So now in the custom section, you should see your newly created keyboard. So now when you go to type something out, just use your keyboard so say you're in typing out a note as you can see i have my new keyboard theme that i've just created thank you for watching if you have any questions or comment leave them down below and we'll get back to you